Hello, dear and wonderful friends. Welcome back to Happy Mail Monday, or if you're new here, I'm Jamie Nix, and I like to make videos sharing the mail I've received <laughs> over the past week, and the past week has been great. Whoa, <laughs> so much mail. See, that's me. That's Happy Mail Monday. Let us get into it, and goodness me, yes. Quite a few things have arrived over the last week and some because I didn't do I did a haul video for the festival of the photocopier instead of a regular happy mail Monday video and uh, I appreciate you uh, understanding <laughs> me doing that I still haven't uh, fully recovered uh, from festival of the photocopier so yeah but that's life right that's just you know <laughs> hashtag worth it right <laughs> <laughs> um, someone who's kind of friend acquaintance um, told me I should never say hashtag anything, but I don't care. It makes me happy. <laughs> so yes, on to glorious mail. <laughs> the first up, I believe, is from Anna Gecko, and I felt bad because Anna Gecko's this sorry this arrived in the post box like the day before we left and yeah so it's <laughs> i have had it for a while and i need to get better about letting people know that their mail has arrived even though i only film on mondays or sometimes sundays if i'm going to be away mondays or sometimes tuesdays if i'm going to be exhausted <laughs> <laughs> on a Monday or something like that. But yes, so first up from Anna Gecko. Shiny. Love it. <laughs> I don't know what this says about me, but yeah, shiny, glittery paper, that sort of thing is definitely my thing. And so we have a nice, lovely note from Anna Gecko. Oh, this is so lovely. It says, hello, I ordered Wanda... Glain. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, so I, I apologize. Um, micro chat book earlier and received two separate copies. The publisher said to send the extra on to someone who would enjoy it, so I'm sending it to you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Anna. That is so thoughtful. That is so, so thoughtful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, so the publisher, so this is sent from Anna Gecko. But um, this is by Wanda, and the publisher is Post Get Post Ghost Press. And I will have all the links in the description. So, oh, a micro chapbook. Interesting. So there we go. Lovely, lovely full color photo or <laughs> full color zine. And then, oh. I do like the little, I mean, it's not a necessary thing, so to say, but I do like knowing the print number and the print run, that sort of thing. It just, it adds something for me, in my opinion. <laughs> Why not? Oh my goodness. So we have some micro fiction, it looks like. Oh goodness, thank you, Anna. That's really, that's really so thoughtful. But anyways, I'm just kind of gobsmacked that somebody could like just, oh, hey, I have an extra this, this. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be, like, I, you know, I, I probably shouldn't be at this point. I've been doing Happy Mail Mondays for probably a year now. I'm really not sure. I should probably check that out. But yeah, I so I shouldn't be surprised, especially after the mystery mail that is still mystery mail from a couple weeks ago, Jay Fritz. Still not sure who you are, but you sent me a lot of zines and it's amazing. And thank you. And thank you, Anna. <laughs> this is definitely a uh, happy mail Monday of a lot of thank yous. I think I'm feeling you know, I always feel grateful for all of the awesomeness. I'm trying to get this open. I always feel grateful for all of the awesomeness, of course. But yeah, some sometimes I just can't help myself. And I just have to say thank you a billion times. Because, like, I think it's when my mental health stuff kind of takes a turn i'm not um i'm not in like a horrible place or anything but you know uh 
I haven't been paying attention to my self-care, which is a bad habit of mine. And so, you know, it's been a bit of a rough, it was a bit of a rough weekend and yeah. <laughs> so I guess these are the times where I just feel whoop, extra, even more grateful because this is such a pick me up and how could it not be, right? <laughs> So what am I opening? I am opening something from Billy. And we have East Coast Adventures number 14. Ba -ba -da -bum. Billy's monthly zine life update newsletter thingamajig that I absolutely love and always encourage people to make them if, um, if they so choose, if that uh, makes them happy and all that good stuff. And oh, gee, thank you, Billy. Always a pleasure. Um, I don't, I mean, you could, you could certainly ask me to, you could let me know that, you know, I'd like this, like things to be rude, but like when it comes to um, newsletter, things like this, my default is that these are pleasure reading for me. Uh, Sober Bob's $50 minimum, um, Zyandra's uh, Strawberry Leaflet, uh, Latibule's Jupiter, um, which I don't think is going any longer, but it was lovely while it, it went. Um, and oh gosh, there are other ones that I'm just not thinking, well, East Coast Adventures. Like these are my pleasure reading because I mean, when you review zines, it's kind of like uh, everything's everything's for review so I wanted to distinguish something and have some like I mean I love reviewing obviously <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time now at least a long time in my sense of the word long um, yeah I'm babbling a lot I just realized I'm babbling a lot this is gonna be a long video but yes uh, I wanted to distinguish something that I didn't think people would mind if I if they sent me and I didn't review um, and yeah, just have something that was kind of aside from that. That being said, if you have a new daily life, new, uh, Julie Jump Ropes, um, Home Body Herald as well. <laughs> but if you do want me to review your lifestyle, life update thing, newsletter, that's certainly welcome. Like you can just let me know. But if you don't say this is for review, then my default is. Anyway, <laughs> that's probably a lot of information that you didn't they need <laughs> oh goodness me so thank you Billy looking forward to reading this sitting down I have a few um, life update newsletters from festival of the photocopier too so I might have just a have a cup of coffee or tea or a banana smoothie or something sit down and enjoy the life update newsletters that have come my way or I have picked up all right <laughs> I feel like every now and then, I've, like I said, I've been doing this for at least a year. I think at least a year. Um, and it just, some days, some days you just sit down to the video and it just feels weird, like you're being awkward, like it's the first video you're making all over again. <laughs> so it goes. Now what am I waving around next? This is very cheeky, sneaky, I wasn't expecting it, thank you so much. Cackle issue seven, the lollipop caper. Yeah, in 3D, in 3D. Oh, I'm opening this one up because, 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 because. Oh, I don't want to rip anything. Just want to make sure I open it carefully. And this is so. I think it's something I've pointed pointed out before, but has my name on it and my address and everything and that is part of the zine no envelope required which is a cool touch i reckon and sealed with the cackle sticker and i don't want to mess that up no i don't no i don't yay <laughs> 3d glasses do you like super cool now I like super cool. <laughs> Very cool. Lollipop caper in 3D. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, just, I just want to take a peek. 
Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff from Kekalzine as always. Oh, I just, I love, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love that there's fiction story. I love the illustrations. And if this is anything like Skullwater, I will be laughing and smiling quite a bit. But even if I'm not laughing and smiling quite a bit, I think it will be brilliant. Thank you so much to Cacklezine for sending this along. You've been so generous and I just can't thank you enough for everything that you've sent. Ooh so cool so cool thank you thank you thank you oh my goodness like i think I, it was last week i said i need to um kind of like lock myself down for a week and just read all the zines and oh goodness that's very very tempting <laughs> just just uh, cut off the rest of the world make sure i have enough food and food and everything to last the week and go uh, offline to uh <laughs> Zine read my heart out. Mm. <laughs> Next up, we have a glorious zine from War Glitter. <laughs> Some oops, <laughs> pop <laughs> anyway. Uh, War Glitter Zines. Yay! Now, War Glitter Zines mentioned that they only had a few copies of a certain zine left, and I claimed one. Now, I need to, I still need to catch up with my um, mail and I need to send some goodness to War Glitter Zines. But yes, excellent. So excited. <laughs> so, 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 what we have. Okay. What did I just say? What we have? <laughs> what do we have? Okay. First up, first up, we have Zine in a Day, Zine number one. A story about a mermaid. Love it. So cute. Come on, camera, be nice. <laughs> well, I think you can see it pretty well. So cute. So, what is this zine that uh, was limited and I managed to get my hands on? Carly Ray Jepsen fanzine. <laughs> Oh, cool. So awesome by War Glitter Zines, a fanzine. And I think, what was I watching the other day? You don't see as many fanzines as you used to, that sort of thing. Uh, I remember when I first saw War Glitter Zines on Instagram uh, mention the zine. And do you know what song I had stuck in my head? <laughs> A Carly song, maybe? <laughs> anyway, yes, I'm so excited to be dealing with blurry camera. Anyway, so excited to have my hands on this. Thank you, War Glitter. Thank you, Allie, for sending this along to me, along with this lovely little mini, mini zine march is coming up. And I appreciate all the minis. <laughs> and I am just... Oh goodness. I saw Ryan. Ryan some um, it's Ryan's pocket thoughts, but it's his channel is something else, I think. Anyway, I saw his review and like it'd been in the back of my mind like I want to get a copy of this and I saw his review and then I saw the post that you know there aren't there many left and I'm like, yes, I must have this in my life. So <laughs> yes. I apologize for my babbling and I apologize that I haven't sent you um, zines and trade yet that will be happening I'm catching up on my mail on my mail this week thank you thank you thank you all links in the description definitely go check out Allie um, she does reviews zine reviews on um, YouTube and recently put up a uh, uh, blah, 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 a video about uh, like perfectionism and things like that and it's a lot about it um, trying to figure out how to um, do reviews consistently and stuff like that without disappointing people but also just balance life balance and that sort of thing so it's very very interesting and very uh, something <laughs> that I've been thinking a lot about but Ali went and made a video for it so definitely check all that goodness out in the description Ooh. I must put you down. 
I knew this was going to be a long video because there's quite a bit of mail, but whoo, babbling does not help me. Bum. <laughs> Next up, from all the way over in Singapore, we have a package that I have been so excitedly waiting for. Boom! From Mr. Zinster. Now, I've had a few things arrive from Mr. Zinster before, and they are amazing, and I'm so excited to check this out because Mr. Zinster's work is amazing. So amazing that I should give the gift of not singing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm opening these. Oh my goodness me. All right, so we check for a note. There's no note in there. And then we have, we have this intriguing. Ooh, and that's, that's some shiny washi there. Yep, take that in. This is shiny as well, but it's more kind of like smooth glitter. But this definitely has like the foil sort of. Da. Oh, love this. Love oh my goodness me this whole oh, my oh my 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 the the presentation that's one thing mr zines is amazing with as well the presentation of the zines and what am i talking about i opened it this way i saw this back and then you turn it over dun, dun, da -dun. look at that it's in its own packaging and yeah sealed for freshness oh my goodness check that out just all oh, the texture the color the art oh my goodness i am already just so excited to get into this oh and oh so you see that it looks textured but it is textured that's not just the look my friends that is actual lovely textured paper Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that definite fangirl moment. Oh my goodness. The things people are doing with zines. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Zinester, for sending this along. It is just, I, I, I am gobsmacked. <laughs> and to say, you know, uh, like, I, you know, whoo. Sorry, I'm a bit flustered for words right now. I am just, wow, that just looks so amazing. I keep kind of going like this very gently because I don't like the texture of it. Yes, I'm just that kind of tactile person, but thank you so much for sending this along. Oh my goodness. And I'm so excited because I've, um, like I said, Mr. Zinister's sent things before for private review. Yes, that's something I do if you want feedback, but you don't want me to post it on the blog. That is totally cool. Just let me know. But yeah, this one, I get to review on the blog and share my thoughts on Mr. Zinister's glorious work. And I imagine by my reaction right now, you might have a hint of how I feel about Mr. Zinister's work. <laughs> Yeah. thank you thank you thank you so much i'm so excited this looks amazing and it feels amazing <laughs> so much zine goodness in my life <laughs> and it doesn't stop there because next up we have some sweet zine mail from brazil from henry and fafa <laughs> So excited to see stuff from them they're so nice to me I told them I would learn Portuguese and I started learning Portuguese on Duolingo and then uh, life happened and I got distracted and I can't even remember I was up to you know a boy a girl a milk bread you know I was doing pretty well on Duolingo but I have to start over again and I appreciate their patience because I did say if there was another cat scene that I would learn Portuguese so I could understand the cat scene a bit better. <laughs> they are so nice and they're so skilled and they're so lovely for sending me such goodies and I don't send them nearly enough mail in return and I greatly appreciate it because like Brazil, hello. Okay. Ooh, 
Oh, okay, sorry. I just saw something that I need to find a place uh, somewhere behind me to display because it's lovely. And what is that? That is this cat scene. It's its own little postcard. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and then we also, oh, goodness me. We have, see, this is. Fafa's art, and this is sorry, Fafa's art, <laughs> and then we have Henry's art as well. Oh, all the little lines and details, and oh my goodness me! Wow, so cool! And I believe, oh my goodness, we have a note and other things and oh my <laughs> okay <laughs> there are a few things all right so notes first let's see what's happening here so much lovely stuff happening in this note hi how was santa have you been a good zinester all over 2018 i bet you were i like to think so nobody's uh nobody's their ideal self at least I'm on anyway. <laughs> yes. And so, okay, what do we have? First up, we have some amazing, fun little pamphlet about zines and zine making. Oh, that they created for their workshops, which is why I am showing you all of the things on fluoro pink paper. And oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. And they gave me a few copies. So if you speak Portuguese, read per Portuguese, let me know because I have a couple extra copies of this awesomeness and I will send some to you. Oh, that is so cool. I love the like doing, giving a zine about zines out as part of a workshop. That is so, so neat. I love it. And now we have, oh, this is so brilliant. Oh, see, see, I really need to learn Portuguese. And my Spanish is probably very, very bad because it's been a long time as well. So we have, now I am going to say this wrong. <laughs> I think that's just a given, but encrucijada. Here we go. Now, encrucijada, which I'm probably saying wrong, means crossroads. And I'll just hold this up and kind of go back and forth so you can take in the goodness of this while I'm reading, while I read from the note about exactly what this scene is. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. The latest scene we produced is an old project, finally uh, put together. I always had this idea meet as many South American zinesters and artists as I could and put a zine on the road. So here it is, encrucijada equals crossroads, crossroad in English, with fellow zinesters and artists from five South American countries, Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Uruguay. Unfortunately, the Peruvian contributor couldn't make it by the deadline. Number two is scheduled for February, March, and we'll probably have along, uh, along with the former contributors, some more folks from Chile and Peru. <laughs> and of course, the stuff is in Portuguese and Spanish. You probably noticed that, but there are also a lot of visuals, so there's a good balance. Well, certainly that is a characteristic that I absolutely love about um, pretty much, yeah, pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything that I've seen that Henry and Fafa do like even when I don't necessarily understand the words there's so much emotion and context given through visuals so I absolutely love it and I think this is brilliant oh that is so cool and that you got some um, contributors from different countries and everything that's so so cool oh my goodness and Glorious, glorious art. Did I show you the back? I don't know, <laughs> uh, but I will show you the back because more of Henry's work. 
Oh my goodness me, thank you so much for all of the goodness. Oh my. Oh, that is so, so brilliant. And I just, you know, Henry, Henry and Fafa, I love them both to bits and pieces. They're so lovely and kind and enthusiastic about zines and such skilled artists. Like, I could go on and on and on and on. Thank you. Thank you so much. I definitely am behind on sending you zine goodness, and I will certainly do so very, very soon. Oh, this is so brilliant. Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness. Can't go over it. <laughs> Not that I need to. Henry, Fafa, thank you so much. You're both wonderful, brilliant people that always make me smile. Thank you so much for sending all of this goodness. Ah, oh, and best uh, wishes for the uh, next edition, which should be coming out soon. Oh, exciting. Oh, cool. And I think it was Henry's birthday recently. So happy birthday, belated birthday wishes to you. Oh, goodness. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> next up, we have trades. Yeah. Oh, yes. The first being from, oh goodness, Raw Days, I believe, on um, Instagram. But I'll have the links in the description as always. See, I was only able to go to Festival of the Photocopier on the Saturday. And I tabled. So I didn't get nearly enough time to wander around. Well, nearly as much time as I wanted to. I would have liked to, anyway. So I saw on Instagram that um, Raw Days, I think it's Raw Days, I'm going to be so embarrassed if it's not. <laughs> yes, Raw Days. I just saw on the back of one. <laughs> Raw Days had an offer. Of, uh, they wanted to have the zines that they had left over from Festival of the Photocopy to go to Good Homes, I guess. <laughs> if you want, we can put it that way. Um, they wanted to do some trades with what they had left over from Festival of the Photocopier. And I was like, yes, please, because I did not get to see your table. So yes, please. And they were happy to trade with me. I'm so happy. So let's see what Raw Days has sent. Yeah. Oh, so excited. And so brilliant. Like, you know, um, I didn't sell these. So, you know, let's do some trades. I think that's a wonderful way to do it. Oh, let's see. We have, first up, eat. Eaton Flies, a memoir of memories. Oh, very cut and paste color. Oh, goodness. Yay. Check it out, zing goodness. Eaton Flies. <laughs> oh, goodness, what a cover. What a cover. And I'll just give you a slight little peek inside of all that cut and paste goodness. Oh, my. Oh, makes me just itch to to get going on my next zine. Oh, stamps and typewritten stuff and handwritten stuff. Oh, ooh, goodness me, yay! So that that. Then we have sex illusion. Ooh, what's it like to kiss? Ooh, curious, curious. <laughs> now we have a less on the back. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool stuff. Full color and oh, just the style, the cut and paste style. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh. Ooh. Goodness me. <laughs> cool. And next up we have. <laughs> we have Ouch My Heart, Volume 1. Aww. And a little heart with a Volume 1. And it has a belly band. So cute. So cute. <laughs> oh, take a peek inside. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And next up we have, sorry, I'm getting so distracted. I kind of just sit here, oh, what's this? And I want to read it straight away, but on video, on video. How long have I been doing this? And I still get distracted. <laughs> so next up we have the mini zine Relapse. Oh, love those colors. And the very cool lips on the back there. Ooh, 
And then we have so many things. We have the waiting room. I know waiting rooms well and imagine a lot of people also know waiting rooms very well. Various waiting rooms. So a zine about waiting rooms? Yes, please. <laughs> and then we have, ooh, so colorful. So colorful. Very cool. Oh, goodness, sorry. <laughs> See, getting distracted again. We have Thought Train. Isn't that cool, those colors? And then on the back. Very neat. Cool. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Raw Days, for trading with me, for putting the offer out there. That's really, really brilliant. You sent so many zines, so much goodness. Thank you. Ooh. Yes, I'm just <laughs> so excited to get into everything. And oh, I just love kind of the watercolory things going on. And ooh. Anyway, <laughs> don't review zines straight away on the Happy Mom Monday video. <laughs> Remind myself. <laughs> and last up, but never the least, we have bum, ba, da, bum, zines from Julia. Now, I think this is another festival of the photocopier uh, trade. Really? Really? Australia Post, if you're gonna charge that much for for these kind of envelopes, you should make sure that they're good enough quality to do what they're meant to do. Okay, got it open. <laughs> okay, now that I know what this is, it is not a trade, but it is something from Festival of the Photocopier. I saw a picture. I needed to have these things in my life. What can I say? I have no restraint or willpower when it comes to zines. <laughs> Goodness. Now this is from Julia who says, little cute note, thank you for your order. So cute. Love the notes. Love the little goodness. And we have volume one. Woo, okay. Sorry. I <laughs> just noticed some little script. Anyway, volume two, volume three, volume four of auto... <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Autocorrect poetry. Ah, so I'll do the closer up. So these are mini zines about, you know, autocorrect poetry. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I love this. I'll take a, I will be obviously taking a closer look and I'm not sure if they just went for it. Started with one word and just went for it, but yeah. So the, the reason I kind of went out, oh goodness, before is because, so we have volume one and volume two of Autoquack Poetry is volume two, the horny one. <laughs> so there's that. Yes, I have the maturity of a five-year-old, maybe an eight-year-old. <laughs> we have volume, uh, Autoquack Poetry volume three and then new phone, who this? <laughs> Autoquack Poetry volume for whoa i want to try this i'd uh, like i'd really love to try like just letting starting with one word or one phrase and just letting my phone go <laughs> and i just realized that so we have the different colors of the titles so we have like red and then they put red on the binding there uh you could probably see it a little bit better with the green so green title Green on the edge. Yeah, there we go. There we go, phone. Well done. <laughs> Very cool. Yay. Julia, Julia was amazing. Um, they sent, like, I got in contact with them. They got contact with me, like, straight away and sent everything really quickly. And yeah, boom, 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 boom. It was great. So thank you, Julia, for sending them so quickly. I'm really excited to get into everything. I'm excited. Like, I have my, I've, put everything try to keep a little bit more organized I put all of the zine goodness in a box in that yeah that's my attempt to keep myself a bit more organized than usual but yes oh my goodness all the zine goodness Ooh, and as I mentioned mini zine March is coming up and 
Uh, I have um, some appointments, some health appointments for myself, and there are some also some health appointments for Wanderer, so I won't be doing a prompts list as such, but Minizine March is where I review a Minizine every single day of the month and encourage other people to make Minizines. So if you feel so inclined to get in on the uh, all the f good feels for Minizines, you are welcome to do so and just... Yeah, I'll have more information on the blog and all of that good stuff. But yeah, Minnie's in March is coming and oh, thank you all. Thank you all for all of this wonderful, wonderful goodness. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. How, how could I, you know, if there's a, a good way to start the week, if there's a guaranteed good way, it's with mail. What can I say? Everything's so beautiful. People's generosity is amazing and people like sending things so quickly is amazing and it's wonderful and I cannot thank you all enough. Everyone who sent me mail, everyone who is watching, <laughs> watching me prattle on, <laughs> listening to me prattle on about all of this scene mail. Just thank you. Thank you a million times over. Thank you. And I will wrap it up at that so this isn't like an hour long. <laughs> Bring on the editing. <laughs> Goodness me. But yes, I thank you all so much. I greatly, greatly appreciate the goodness and the sunshine you bring into my life. So until next time, go make some zines, send some mail, spread some sunshine, and yeah, have a wonderful week ahead. Mwah. I just realized, I think the camera is a little off center. I mean, it kind of looks decent, but I think maybe, mm, no, maybe, maybe. I don't know whether I've actually done anything. <laughs> uh, life goals, get an actual permanent setup with an actual camera instead of my phone. So I don't have to, Adjust every single week. <laughs> Hashtag life goals. <laughs> Hashtag you YouTuber goals. <laughs>